Hello everyone, got an interesting video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to spawn uh, loot automatically in Stratus. So let's open our map and call our script. And you'll see that a marker appears on each thing that loot is spawned in. As you can see, the loot is spawned inside buildings and each marker has a bit has a random number on it. Although the number is not random, it's actually 0 to 4 and each number refers to the type of loot it is, but we'll cover that in a minute. So let's have a quick look at what spawned up here, shall we? So, as you can see, this is a random kind of battlement. We've got a weapon, a backpack, and a vest. If we have a look inside, we have another vest, and that's about all I can see. So, as you can see, the the loot is spawned at the right elevation, it's not floating on in the air, and it's fairly reliable. I haven't come across a problem with this script yet. So now I'm going to show you how this script works. So if we have a look at the map, I have a marker covering the entire tier of Stratus, and this is called MKR. And I have a trigger which we pass into uh, we pass MKR into the loot in it dot .sqf so let's have a look at the .sqf so in the loot in it we have a few variables I'll explain these as we go we have our array for each set of uh, loot that will spawn kind of self explanatory we have an exclusion list this will stop loot spawning on in these type of buildings we have our private, this will let us change the, um, we don't actually need this, <laughs> I'll just get rid of that, but this will let us change the distance variable within a scope like this. Um, so we're getting the marker, we're getting the position of the marker and we're getting the size of the marker. So the size is made up of two axes, axis A and B and if axis B is larger than axis A then we'll set that as a distance for searching for the house so it's only searches within a symmet symmetrical distance so having odd markers won't cover an odd area of ground I'm afraid so this will get the near objects from the position of the marker within about 4000 meters and it will search for objects that are under the house class and all these will be put into the house list so that's a very big list if you can imagine how many houses are on Stratus that's how many houses are in this list so for each of these houses we're going to run this set of code looks small um, it may not look simple but I assure you it is quite simple so remember for each there's a single house so for simplicity we're going to replace the X so it's called house so if the type of house is not in the exclusion list remember we set our exclusion list up here so if it's not in here then we're free to continue with the rest of the script if it is in there then we'll just miss it out and it won't be uh, used to spawn any loot so here we use the for command to find the, the number of positions the house has. Um, for some reason, Biz Studio haven't added a function that automatically finds the number of positions for the house. You'd think that would be kind of obvious thing to do, but they haven't, as far as I know. So what we're going to do is from 0 to 50, we're going to get each house position. Of course, most houses won't have 50 positions. So once we hit a null position, which will be 0, 0, 0, we will exit the loop. So basically this will get all the positions in the house and pass it into this script. So if the position for it is not um, 0, 0, 0, then there's a 50% probability because we passed it we chose the probability here. The lower the probability, the less chance there will be of spawning. So if the probability is higher than 50, then we will pass our building position 
into our spawn loot .sqf and we'll pass our show loot variable. Um, our show loot variable simply up here. It lets us choose whether we want to spawn uh, the map markers. So that's it for finding the houses and choosing the loot positions. If we have a look at the spawn loot.sqf, we've got our position here. Remember, we sent to the position from here. So this is the same position. And each position is made up of three elements. A position is essentially, essentially an array. So the first one, I believe, is left, backwards, and forwards. The second one is left and right. And the third one is up and down. So we're interested in the up and down here because by default loot could spawn floating in the air. So we're going to use physics to our advantage here by spawning a empty barrel giving it half a second to fall down and then we're going to get the, the uh, height of the barrel before deleting it. So this just stops loot spawning in the middle of the air. So after we've done that we're going to create a rep and holder. So we're using the position 0 and 1 that we've got from our house position and then we're using the position of the barrel uh, or the height of the barrel and then we delete the barrel. Next we're going to get the type of loot that will sp be spawned so this is 0 to 4 because it uses floor um, imagine you can't go to the roof which will be 5 you can only go to 4 so if it is 4.9 it will still choose 4 so the show loot if it's a spawner marker um, if we if the show loot variable is true so if the type of variable equals 0 we will spawn a weapon to do this we'll get a random weapon from our weapons loot this is defined in the weapon in it and then we'll pass this weapon into the config file. This is to get our, the type of magazines that the weapon uses. So, as you can see, this will return the types of magazines. There might be more than one type of magazine. So we can use biz select random for the type of magazines. And then we'll be left with a single magazine class, which we'll put into the weapon holder. So we put one weapon into the weapon holder and two magazines into the weapon holder. Notice here we're using add magazine global and add weapon global. They are not the same commands. If it's type 1 then we're just going to add magazines. So unlike the one before we don't add a weapon. A clever little trick here. We only want to spawn the magazines for the weapons available, right? Um, so we're going to choose a random weapon again to get a type of magazines. This magazine class we spawned. If it's uh, items, same thing. We just choose a random item from our items loot and a random bit of clothing. Notice we're using the add item cargo here. And it's the same for vests. And for backpacks we use the add backpack cargo. So let's have another look at what's going on. If we call the script, we'll have, I'll show you an example. So let's try and find a house that has all the type of weapons in it. Um, remember you can change the probability. So if this is too much loot for you, you can easily change it. Um, so this house has pretty much everything except for a weapon. Okay, it's not a house, it's actually a fuel drum, but this emphasizes my point easily. So here we have uniform and a scope, a vest, magazines, and a backpack. Let's try and find a weapon. A weapon is here. Okay, I've spawned inside it there. So there should be a weapon up here, as indicated on the map. Yeah. And here's a weapon, and it has the correct ammo. So, hope you find this video useful. If you have any suggestions for my next scripting video, please comment them below. And I will see you next time.